Hello everybody, welcome back to Beads and Banter Live. I am Juliet and you're joining me in my kitchen this Friday afternoon where I've got a few lovely things to show you. Um, so I'm going to wait for a few more people to join and say hello to everybody and um, then just talk you through what I want to show you guys today. And uh, yeah, we can have a little chat and a little bead along and uh, see how we go. Um, so you have to let me know if you're watching and, uh, and then uh, as I say, I will chat through everything that um, I'm going to show you today. It's a bit of a gloomy day here. I'm just looking out the window. Um, it's not super sunny, but it's kind of kind of muggy. You know that weather where it just feels like it's gonna rain or something. It's a little bit like that here today. Hi Yvette, how are you? Welcome to Beads and Banter. Um, so, um, I've had a few requests from you guys if I could um, demo for you. Hi Evelyn, um, the new, hi Becky, hi Adria. Hello Jeanette, hi Tanya. Oh, lots of people now. Hi Linda, hi Edwardine and Lynn. Oh, goodness. Hi Chris, hi Jeanette. Oh, lots of lovely people. In, um, Jeanette is in sunny Houghton Lake, Michigan. I suspect I said that incorrectly. I'm sorry, Jeanette. Hi Anita in Johannesburg where it's cold apparently. Hi Brian. And we've got Myra in Minnesota, hello. Oh, lots of, and Rita good in Rita Kipp, 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 Kippenberg, sorry Rita, Rita Kippenberg, that sounds like a Swedish name or a Nordic name. Hello Donna, Donna, I've got your lovely necklace on here. Um, someone commented on this necklace um, the other day and said, oh, well, can we do it in Beads and Banter? Well, this isn't my design actually. This is by the lovely Donna from Beach and Boho. Um, and it's a really pretty little daisy chain. And I bought it from Donna, um, this necklace, um, a few weeks ago. And it's, it's, as you can see, it's already one of my favorites. So I've got some loveliness to show you today. Um, I've got um, a new uh, packet of Swarovski that I want to um, unwrap in with you guys and we can see um, what it's like and we can have a little chat about this shape, something new, something that you guys requested that we get in. So um, we shall have a little look. It's not something I've worked with before or seen before. So um, yeah, we'll have an open of this. And then I want to do something that you guys have requested, which is that I um, I demo for you um, these lovely Abrisart kits that I showed you guys yesterday when they arrived. So I'm going to demo this design here. And um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Uh, yes, it's filled with trays. This one, Jenny, you're right. Hi, Mich Michelle in Malaysia. Oh, you got your order today, Elizabeth. Thank you. We're still working through those gorgeous teas you sent us. Um, right, so I think we should open this and then we should get beading. So I can't remember who it was that requested that we get these in. Um, so, but I will have a look in my emails and remind myself, hi, Becky, you've just started your Abrisart, have you? Or you have to share pictures of how it's going on Facebook because we'd really like to see. Because, um, you know, there's so many beautiful designs. I haven't managed to have a go at them all myself, obviously. Um, anyway, back to this Swarovski. So someone requested that we get this Swarovski octagon shape in and it's quite a big stone and we've got them in in just one color at the moment, um, silver shade, which is one of those kind of good colors that goes with loads of different things. So I wanna open them up and have a look. I think they look like they're gonna be quite big. So let's unzip the packet and see. What are we going in here? We love unwrapping Swarovski. Okay, they are looking quite big and chunky, everybody. These stones. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Look at these. Wow. Oh, dropped one. Jumped out at you. Here it is. So this is the Swarovski Octagon Stone. They're not on the website yet, but they will be very, very shortly. I shall go and pop them on after this video. Um, and it's absolutely stunning. Look at that. It's so it's a it's like a square, but with the corners cut off, and it's foiled on the back. You can see all the facets when I flip it over there. Um, and this is the silver shade color. It's absolutely stunning. If I put it, I think if I put it on my chest on my chest here, you kind of see the size 
for comparison like if you're going to have that as a pendant it would be pretty amazing um it is huge um it is huge lynn i think it would be cool uh, for a christmas decoration can you imagine like bezeling around that and just having a little um something to hang it from and just having that on your christmas tree um it um would be gorgeous yeah imagine if that were a real diamond i'd be a trillionaire <laughs> Oh, but they do sparkle amazingly, don't they? You just tilt that to the light, it looks really cool. So someone requested that I get these in. I'm not sure what they are planning on doing with them, and I'm not sure what I'm planning on doing with them yet. Um, but we shall have to, um, oh, that's cool, Donna. Um, we shall have to, yeah, have a play and see what we come up with. Um, but I'm thinking Christmas decoration for this big bad baby, because it's gorgeous. Very sparkly. So I'm going to pop those on the site later. So that's a little bit of unwrapping excitement. Um, so what I want to do now is clear off my workstation and show you my Abris Art canvas that I am working on at the moment. And you can see it's really big size, a really good size um, here. It's gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera over and um, show you guys um, what I've got on my mat and how I've started and show you one of the kits I've already finished. So let's do that now. Let's do that now. Here we go. Here we go. All right, flip the camera. Okay. There we go. So this is the beautiful Poppy Abris Art Kit um, that I finished um, last year, actually. I took it away on holiday with me um, and I sat and did it um, on my sun lounger. Um, and it was very therapeutic and it's a beautiful Poppy brooch there. Um, but the one that I'm working on today is completely different because it is this really big canvas. Um, whoops, really big canvas to make a big picture um, that I'm planning on getting framed and popping up um, on my on my wall. Um, someone said price range. I think that they're talking about the Abris Art kits. The Abris Art start from just, um, just I think, 4 95 and go up to about £65. Um, I just turned my kitchen lights off there to stop the flickering. There you go. That should be better. Um, so they're very affordable. Um, we've got them with the kits, which you've got all the beads in. And this one here is a kit that's got all of the beads in. I'm going to talk you through it in a minute. But we have got ones that come um, just the canvas. So just the printed canvas like, like this. Um, and you can just use your own beads from your stash. So they're a great stash buster. So if you've got lots and lots of size 11 seed beads, little bits and pieces left over then from different projects, then these um, Abris Art Kits are brilliant for busting your stash. But I know that a few of you guys have bought these kits and you were wondering kind of how to get started. Um, so that's what I want to show you today. So when I opened my kit... I had this nice card here, which has got all the different beads on it, and they're all very handily numbered, um, which is great. And then when you look at the canvas, along the top of the canvas, you've got these dots with numbers, and the numbers correspond to the numbers um, on the little packs of beads that you get with your kit. So it's really easy. I can look at number seven, and I know that number seven is this one here in this packet, and it's the it's the uh, lilac colour with the white ring around it. So when I look at my kit, I can go my pattern. I can go that will be number seven because it's the lilac colour with the white ring around it. So you've got really easy for you to identify your your beads. They are bead embroidery, Claire. Yeah, so it's bead embroidery these kits. You also get, with your kit, a set of instructions um, showing you how to do two stitches. So two um, of the um, bead embroidery stitches. The first one is monastery stitch, which is this one here. Um, and then you have got this one here, um, which is called, I think it's called stick stitch, or what do you call it? Um, let me remind myself. Stalk, stalk. That's called stalk stitch. And 
If you've got circles on your canvas, then you need to do the monastery stitch. And if you have got um, ovals printed on your canvas, then that's where you need to do the, the stalk stitch. But my kit here is all circles. So these are all circles here. Um, so I just need to do that monastery stitch. So, first of all, you have to attach your thread to the back of your canvas and I did it right here and all you do is you just stitch through not all the way through from one side to the other just through a few of the threads on your canvas a couple of times just to secure your thread and then you're ready to get beading you don't need to put your canvas onto a frame or anything because it's nice and stiff and it will hold its shape even with the weight of the beads on it um, and I've begun stitching my beads on using that monastery stitch um, as, um, as I said earlier. And what I want to do is just continue with that now. So the monastery stitch is stitching the beads on diagonally. So you can see here, they're all sitting facing this way. So they're diagonally. And you want to make sure that you stitch always in the same direction so that your beads are all facing the same way. You don't want them to be zigzagging backwards and forwards. Um, if you make a mistake, then it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> you can just unpick it because this um, is very, very forgiving, this canvas. It's quite tough and it's very forgiving. Um, actually, the other thing I should just discuss with you is the colour of the thread. Because when I re initially looked at this lovely design, I saw the dark background and um, I thought to myself, I'm going to do this in sm smoke fire line or smoke Jura thread. Um, but then I looked at my beads um, that I've got in my packets here and they're all these lovely light colors if i was to use a dark colored thread with these beads it would show through and it's going to really change the look and the color of the beads so i thought right i'm going to stitch the whole lot in crystal color um, thread just white thread um, you don't want to be stitching switching the color of your thread halfway through you want to stitch with the same color the whole way through um, otherwise you will really see the difference so I'm using um, crystal fire line even though I've got a dark background if you wanted to add embellishments yeah you could definitely add embellishments to these Rachel you can really have fun I mean you could use Swarovski crystals you could use um, you can use any flat back stones um, you can glue onto this canvas there's tons and tons you can do um, fire line is fine, Elizabeth, absolutely fine. Um, so I am, I'm all, what size needle am I using? I'm using a size 10 beading needle because I'm using size, um, size 11 seed beads. So my needle is just a regular size 10 beading needle. So um, to attach my next bead, you see I'm, my thread is coming out just on the edge of the circle that shows me where my next bead's gonna be. I'm gonna pick up the bead and then stitch through my canvas diagonally opposite where I'm coming out of. I'm gonna pull this thread in and that bead will sit in place. And you see how it's sitting the same direction as everything else. Then to attach my next bead, I'm gonna stitch through, the, I'm stitching through from the back of the canvas now. And I want to go right there so right where my thread came out of initially on this bead it's the same here so I've gone from here up to here and then across to here and you'll see that in the instructions here it's exactly like that this is the pattern of the thread I like that Aurora <laughs> I saw that beavers and beaders um, so then I'm going to pick up my next st stitch, my next, next stitch, my next bead, and just repeat that. So I'm going diagonally across. I'm going to pull this tight. There we go. And my bead sits as I want it to there. So don't worry if it's not all completely perfect and straight because it's not going to be it's handmade 
it really will look absolutely beautiful. So don't worry that it's not completely perfect um, because actually that's what's going to make it look beautiful. Just that slight wiggle along there is not a problem at all. Um, you want them, as long as your beads are facing in the same way, then it's absolutely fine. So you see I'm just pulling that through and there's my bead sitting just as I want it to sit there. Um, I know that um, someone just asked about adding embellishments and I certainly sort of carried on filling in the gaps with my lovely poppy brooch. Let me just grab that back. I think I've just dropped it on the floor. But I'll just pick it up again and show you. With my lovely poppy brooch, I think I just carried on um, filling in. Yeah, don't be OCD about it, it's fine. Um, I just carried on filling in the gaps. So yeah, you could use an embroidery hoop. Definitely. Um, but if you use an embroidery hoop, you, I mean, I couldn't on this one. I'd have to use a big embroidery frame. But it's it's fine. It's so forgiving that it doesn't stretch. Um, on my poppy that I did, I definitely sort of carried on and filled in some of the gaps and things. Um, and then... Um, yeah, I did. I mean, you got. I got loads. I found I had loads of extra beads, so I didn't have to use anything of my own to do that. I just sort of carried on filling in the gaps. And um, you see that this one comes with these sew-on stones here, um, and we think we've got a few little extra sew-on stones um, at Sport or some beads um, in with the. If you go to the where the Abris Art Kits are on the website, you'll see those sew-on stones there. Um, but yeah, the poppy is just stunning, isn't it? I mean, it's just. The colours are just gorgeous. These kits are just a really fun to do. And the poppy came with the felt backing. It came with the um, the pin. Um, so um, it's, yeah, it's really, really cool. I really, really enjoyed making it. They are a joy to make. And it's just lovely because you've got everything that you need. Um, they do take a long time to do these. Someone, I think that's Elizabeth saying that they take a long time. They do, but I think that that's the... That's the kind of joy of them. Um, you can just sort of, it's the kind of thing you can just have um, on your coffee table and just sit and sort of bead along. We don't sell the beads for the kits because the beads that they put in with these lovely kits are Preciosa seed beads. Whereas our seed beads that we sell are Japanese size 11 seed beads. You can use size 11 Japanese seed beads um, instead, it's fine. You don't have to use Preciosa seed beads. And um, there's no need to sort of worry about having extras for these kits because you get you get lots of beads. You get more than what you actually need. It is like cross-stitching with beads, yeah. So you get everything you need in your kit ready to go. The only thing you haven't got is your, um, is your thread. You even get your needle in, in the kits. But I say, if you want to use your own beads, then you can do just buy the um, the designs that we've got that come without the beads, so just the canvases. I think they sell at just under ten pounds, and then you can just use your own Japanese seed beads or Czech seed beads, whatever you've got really in your stash, or you can mix and match. It's absolutely fine. Yeah, they're lovely for a craft group. They're a great introduction to using beads if someone's kind of a crafty person and they. Um, uh, you know, haven't done anything with beads and they're brilliant. So, yeah, if you have got one of these at home, just don't be frightened of it with these kits. Just just get on and just open it up and have some fun because they really are simple to do. And you, you can't, you honestly, you can't really go wrong with them. They're lovely. Um, so I think I'm going to, this is a, you know, really big design. It's going to take me a long time to do. Um, this one, I think I'm just going to keep sort of, out on my coffee table and just sort of just do it a few beads at a time. I'm not going to rush it. I'm just going to enjoy it. And when it's done, it's going to go on the wall somewhere lovely. Um, I love these colours. I like this kind of ombre look. Um, you can see it kind of developing there with the blue already. Um, it's going to be beautiful, this one. So, um, so yeah, there you go, your Abris Art Kits. So I'm just going to, you know, make myself a cup of tea, I think, and carry on having a lazy Friday, um, beading away 
Where can you buy the kits? Tara says, over on our website, Tara, sportwatchingbeads.co.uk. Um, we've got all of these kits. Um, we've got about 30 or so. Um, yeah, perfect for a camper van weekend. Taking this with me, someone says. We've got about 30 different designs of these beautiful kits. So there's pretty much something for everybody there. So, um, yeah, head over to the website. I will pop a link on the website in a minute. Um, but let me just show you this finished one again. There we go. This is what it's going to look like finished. It's going to be really pretty. There you go. Um, yes, I shall enjoy my cup of tea and my strawberries. Thank you. Um, thank you, Elizabeth. Um, so I think I need to say goodbye and then just say to you guys, enjoy the weekend. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, and um, I shall see you all next week. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.